what's going on crypto family back with another video listen a lot of things are happening right now in this space listen the governments the world banks they're all coming together for the summit because they know this bitcoin having is about to go insane and you guys are going to witness the greatest transformation of wealth i'm saying doge on mars hundred thousand x easy hundred thousand x easy listen these institutions are gearing up this bitcoin having is going to be insane now you see in here imf prepares financial revolution say goodbye to the dollar okay the treasury department understands that there is a constant demand for dollars overseas as a means to be more easily import and export goods the petrodollar monopoly made the u.s dollar essential for trading all global for decades now you see it. <clears throat> the problem is that this system of stowing dollars overseas only lasts as so long and eventually the effects of overprinting come home to roost okay the Bretton Woods agreement of 1990 of 1944 established the framework for the rise of the US dollar while the benefits are obvious especially for the US there are number numerous costs involved Think of world reserve status as the deal with the devil. You get the fame, you get the fortune, you get the trophy days in the sweet car for a while. Then one day the devil comes to collect. And when he does, he's going to take everything, including your soul. So family, the global banks are essentially admitting the plan for a complete overhaul of the dollar based financial world and the creation of a central bank digital currency focused system built on unified ledgers and by imminent i mean this i mean before this decade is over you see what's going on family the doubt man is scary but is exciting at the same point you know they're going to come push this whole new world order but we will be already ready we already accumulated these digital assets to prevail against of the storm that is incoming i'm telling you guys right now people like us who hold digital assets we are far yay above than people who may have they make quarter million a year whatnot those people who does not believe in cryptocurrency that just believe in stocks i'm telling you guys this this is going to sh doge on mars hundred thousand x that's easy that's real easy i'm talking about it's gonna go crazy family all right so you see that there now check this out atlantic council imf world bank week at the atlantic council washington dc april 15th to april 19th family the Atlantic Council will host a series of special events with finance ministers and central bank governors from around the globe during the 2024 spring meetings of the World Bank and International Monetary Fund. And isn't it a coincidence it's before the Bitcoin happened? Isn't it a coincidence? Huh? Don't you guys see what's going on? Now check this out. Gold. Precious metal soars above 2400 after sudden gap higher. Now that rate cuts are off the table, interest on U.S. debt, currently the second biggest government outlay at $1.1 trillion, will surpass Social Security and become the single biggest U.S. expense before the end of 2024 at $1.6 trillion. Family, there's a lot of things that's happening way before the big one happened. Hong Kong to approve spot Bitcoin and Ethereum ETFs by Monday. We're talking about a major bullish man. Super cycle is, a, is about to happen. That super cycle is about to happen. You guys see these firms intend to launch their respective ETFs by the end of the month following final approval from Securities and Future Commission and completion of listing details with the Hong Kong exchanges and clearing LTD. Family, it's all in your face as you guys see right here blackrock aggressively pushing this bitcoin etf on bloomberg with seven ads on the home page they want more check it out you see it 
You got to see it. They're putting it on here for you guys to see. Hey, go ahead and buy some Bitcoin ETFs. Go ahead and buy them. Look at that. Look at the ads that they've been putting on there, man. It's only about to get more crazy. Now, I'm going to play this clip right here, this video for you guys. And I want you guys to watch it because it's really going to explain a lot what's going to go around the world, why Costco is selling a whole bunch of gold bars, why everything is going insane when people don't even know it. They don't know what's going on. But as people who are in the crypto space, we know we follow the new money. We basically, we follow the money. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play this video and let you guys see this, man. It's getting real crazy right damn now. Let me play this. They're buying gold in large. Our next story is about gold. It's on fire. Prices have touched a record high this week. Yesterday, gold prices in India crossed the 73,000 mark, 73,000 rupees, that's around 875 US dollars for 10 grams of pure gold. At the beginning of this year, the price was hovering around 65,000 rupees, almost 780 US dollars. So India has seen a sharp increase. What about the international markets? Same story. Globally, gold prices are up by over 16%. And what's driving this rally? The world's central banks, they're buying gold in large quantities and they've been at it for a while. It started with China almost two years ago. China's central bank is called the People's Bank of China or the PBC. It has embarked on a gold buying spree. And how much gold have they bought? 225 metric tons in 2023 alone. Beijing bought more gold than any other central bank last year and Beijing is not done yet. From January to April, China added more gold to its reserve. In fact, since November 2022, they've been piling it up. As of today, they have more than 2,200 tons of gold. China has 2,200 tons of gold. Why do they need so much of it? What is driving this buying spree? Fear, perhaps. Recent geopolitical tensions, specifically what happened with Russia. When Russia invaded Ukraine, the West cracked down on Moscow's reserves. They went after Russia's financial assets. These assets were being held by Western institutions. We're talking about some $300 billion. Russian wealth controlled by the West, $300 billion. This was part of Russia's foreign exchange reserves. The West froze all these accounts, so Moscow can no longer access its own money. In fact, there's also talk of giving this money to Ukraine. It's been proposed many times. Give this blocked Russian money to Ukraine. So far, Western powers have resisted. Irrespective, Russia does not have access to its money, and Beijing sees this as a cautionary tale. So it's losing faith in Western financial institutions and buying gold as an insurance, a potential hedge against Western financial instruments, like the American dollar. China still holds a large reserve of the American currency. As of last month, they had over $3 trillion. So Beijing has not completely given up on the greenback, but it's diversifying. And it's not the only one doing so. Diversifying reserves and stocking up on gold. Other central banks are doing the same. From June last year to January this year, at least five other central banks bought gold for eight consecutive months. And which are these banks? Turkey, India, Kazakhstan, Jordan, and the Czech Republic. Each of them bought more than one ton of gold recently. And in this list, India stands out. Its gold purchases have surged, touching almost a two-year high last month. In recent months, India has bought more than 13 tons of gold. So how much gold does the Reserve Bank of India have? More than 800 tons as of January 2024, 800 tons of gold with the RBI. This is believed to be worth more than $50 billion. Now, India's overall reserves in March stood at around $645 billion. And given this number, $645 billion, the value of gold reserves may not be significant. But its, it's rise is, and there is a clear shift. Central banks around the world want to cut risks. They want diversified reserves where they don't have to depend on a single currency or instrument. So if you're looking to buy gold, to invest in it, what should you do? Is it a good time to buy? Well, if you're price sensitive, you may want to wait. The gold market is expected to remain volatile. Prices have already touched record highs and experts predict more growth through the year. 
banks like JP Morgan predict a peak next year in the second half of 2025. So if you're planning a major gold purchase, if there's a wedding in your family, or if you're just looking to park some cash, chances are you'll have to shell out more money. But if you're just looking to make a quick buck, exercise caution. Just like the central banks of the world, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Think about diversifying your portfolio. You guys see what's going on, family. You've seen it. It's diversify your portfolio because crypto is about to explode. I'm telling you guys right now, we hold Dogelon. Of course, you guys hold multiple different digital assets. Family, are you ready? Are you ready? 